Hey, everybody. Oh. Yeah. 1984. This is so <laughs> Wow. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? It's been a while. Um, that's great. Nice to hear from you. Don't wave yet, Nick. Sorry. Don't. Or you, Ro. Let me introduce you. Okay, sorry. I let the behind the camera Tom come out for a second. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. This is Tom Talks. I've got two great guests here. Let's start off with the most important guest, Ro Romden. What's up? Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, you thought you were the most important because you're, no. because you're a man and you're taking up space in it. Exactly. It is. <laughs> this is going to be a long podcast. Yeah. <laughs> The color, <laughs> the color correction on my camera makes my teeth look very yellow. I just wanted to say everything has this like yellow glaze over it. So don't, no, I don't want all the comments just to be about my teeth. <laughs> Nick, Nick is not green. Also, you yellow oh. dentists in your audience. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, the dentists in my audience—they're just crazy. You, um, you probably get tons of hate from the dentists in your audience, right? Like every video, they're just spamming you. So why would you introducing each other? Why would you say that? <laughs> no, because because you were just talking about your teeth being yellow. They probably spam the comments. Don't talk over a row. She'll, you know. That's true. You are always talking right. about that. All of that. Always talking about all that oppressive stuff. Yeah. Going on. Oh it's God. So, quote unquote oppression. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> why don't me as a straight white guy? I'm so sick of that. <laughs> yeah, I just want to say like the hate you get like tick. I think the fact that TikTok. It really, really cracks down on you, really shows that you go through a lot, you know, in your day to day and probably experience that in your real life, too. Yeah, for real. Are you talking to me? Oh, yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah. No, 100 percent. Yeah, 100 percent. It's a, it's a struggle. It's a str <laughs> having a beard and long hair. It's like God. People think I'm Jesus. They keep on trying to crucify me. It, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. That's also, a bar. Write that down. <laughs> that's a good, yeah, that's a good one for my because you guys. You guys both make music. I know this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ro, you are in, uh, is it Fortnite Dog? That's the group, right? I'm in Fortnite well, Dog. I'm in two bands because I'm, I'm producing pretty much full time for, for Nick's band as well. Oh, what's your band, Nick? It's very secret. It it's, was my just my brother and myself, um, and we made music together. But in the future, we may be adding someone soon after ah. this next release. Maybe. Maybe. I wonder I who it, if that person Elton John. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's insane. You got Elton we're doing John. Tiny, we're doing Tiny Dancer too about how Nick is shorter than me. <laughs> Five eleven, and it's not enough. Five eleven versus six two. It's really wait, Ro, are you, Ro, are you six two? I'm six two. Damn. Yeah, she towers over. She's towering. <laughs> the yeah. Burj Khalifa. And, and Nick, you're 5'11"? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a little small guy compared compared to you both. I'm I'm five nine. Oh, you're petite. I'm petite. <laughs> Sorry. Petite white boys. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> we added that one out. No, we're leaving that in. <laughs> petite white boy is actually my yeah. favorite genre on like Pornhub. You know, petite white boy. Petite white yeah. boys is a is is a rap group in, from 2008 that got like <laughs> six hundred thousand dollars off of eight number one hits. Yeah. Because white people couldn't figure out how to listen to rap. It was yeah. Macklemore. Yeah. Um, Watsky. Watsky. <laughs> Asher Rob. <laughs> MGK. MGK is coming up. He's he's on the come up, guys. What's his MGK? What's his name? Mac Lethal. Oh my Mac God. Lethal was also there. Mac Lethal like crypt the whole gang of like YouTube white rappers that are like <laughs> artillery blowing up your auxiliary. <laughs> <laughs> death to mumble rap. Yes, death to mumble rap. <laughs> I want to be the next death to mumble rap guy. They really, they really that that guy for some reason chose to do i remember i went on on some fantano stream without knowing who the guest was and it was just this guy who was so overly like yeah bro like we're just trying to spread the love like like you know making music as much as i can and i was like who, this guy does not seem like someone fantano would like and then it was like the guy who made the Mom death to mumble rap video <laughs> who just like agreed to do an interview with them and i thought it was so funny i was just like of course that i, I think we we need the first white like death to mumble rap like person who is really not technically skilled at all <laughs> yeah it's like they don't make good music but they're always like at least they can talk fast we need one that's like really slow <laughs> yeah like he still can't keep up and he's yeah. just like really off rhythm off he's off like, the beat oh, just <laughs> is fighting for his life against the beat 
the beat is beating his ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they call it the beat. Sort of, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, how are you both? It's been a while since I've uh, talked to both of you. We had a, uh, Ro and I had a uh, unaired deep cut episode. Oh, it was a hidden episode. Yeah, it's a it's the lost episodes. It's gonna be That's one of those I mean. that we find in twenty yeah. years, whenever no one knows who I am. We'll be like, oh, we can't we can't publish this. <laughs> this is really fucked this is up. Horrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be one yeah. of those things where it's like everyone loves Ro. They're like, we love her, and then they're like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> this <laughs> cave yeah. man that yeah. came out from under a rock. <laughs> what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> why is why is she doing a fucking bit about osama bin laden as an influencer yeah <laughs> that was a bit that was a good bit we had yeah yeah <laughs> Nick, um, if but... you had to if you guys had to pick one terrorist to be <laughs> an influencer who would it, who would you pick who do you think is like the most marketable terrorist out there um i'd probably say hmm i already know my answer I think I think if there was someone that would probably appeal most to Americans, it would probably be um, I, I don't know how much this isn't like, you know, your classic terrorist is like a little bit, you know, quirky, mm-hmm. but it it would be um, like Kim Jong Un's sister. Because, you know, that she had some of those like queen moments yeah, yeah. where people were yeah. like, oh, look at her. Like, oh, she rolled her eyes at Donald Trump. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, like she she's done much worse than that. Yeah, let me yeah. tell you. That's just a girl boss yeah. moment. Yeah, the girl boss one, like Hillary Clinton. Are yeah. we talking about like, we talking about like terrorist terrorists, or like can we do like domestic domestic? I was like, thinking any terrorist yeah. domestic. I'm thinking like um, I'm feeling who is that guy? Dorner, the uh, the Dorner. guy. Dorner, those police officers. I feel like he could make a spot for himself uh, on yeah. like, left Twitter. Yeah, he's he's, <laughs> he's he's got like a he's got like a shoe in role. He'd yeah, like, and he's, yeah, I killed police, and they would be like, oh, let's go. And he's already got a he's already got a catchphrase. Don't go, can't go to the Dorner. Can't corner the Dorner, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, our, he's like halfway there, basically. He's like basically a streamer already. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was a great writer, too. I don't know if you read his manifesto. Very, very oh, I don't, funny. I'm not a big manifesto reader. I'm a, I, I like to stick to nothing. <laughs> nothing? I, don't I, was say, I don't read at all. <laughs> I'm literacy. I'm literate, but I don't really make, it, make use of it. I feel bad about that. Yeah. Who really want to read, and I'm just over here being like, oh, fuck it. I don't yeah i can't read like almost at all (laughs) i i just don't i don't read the last time i read was i think since i was maybe in the in middle school i've maybe read five books like what was what was the last thing you read like willingly on your own without like school someone being Um, like you have to read this it was go ahead go ahead i'm not speaking over you (laughs) <laughs> well you, you literally just did it's like we can like run back the separate audio tracks and you'll be like oh that's weird that not only is nick speaking over me but in the like with the delay interface, yeah <laughs> his, nick green is above row it's like what does that mean yeah <laughs> what, is, what is he doing to her like <laughs> technological like dominance the hierarchy in the zoom call. in the pro that's tools such. disgusting <laughs> yeah i'll have to go through and edit that to make sure the last, it's even. the last thing i read willingly the last book i read willingly was the communist manifesto i suppose and i started reading reading socialism um scientific and utopian and then i was like oh, what if i just didn't <laughs> what if i just had that what if i just vibed actually instead? yeah i was just like somebody asked me like what's your solution for this problem i would be like well i think we could probably figure it out <laughs> yeah what if we all just had a good time you know yeah like everyone was like my political ideology is like what if everyone was like cool yeah yeah for yeah, sure yeah, that's i'm a i'm an i'm an anarchist that's basically what that is people are like yeah so uh in terms of the dictatorship of the proletariat, do you believe it's moral or immoral? And how do we believe that we should this should be dissolved? And I'm just sort of like, well, I don't know. If I was there, it would have gone down different. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's I mean, vibes I, over I, policy. Yeah, I'm like, built what about the Soviet Union? It's like, what about the Soviet Union? It's like, I don't know. All I'm saying is like, I was there. I think things would have happened differently. Yeah. Yo, that's my thing in the room. That's my fucking favorite Mark Wahlberg quote of all time. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's the like... funniest fucking quote ever, dude. <laughs> uh... If I was on that plane, I think things would have gone down a whole lot different. <laughs> What do you? What does he mean by that? Yeah, like we would just. What is, no, he means that he means that he would be dead. That's what he yeah, means. yeah. No, no. My my guess is that he means that he would have taken it and just committed a hate crime with the plane. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah, like yeah. he wouldn't. He wouldn't have even known they were terrorists. He would have already been cr- making hate crimes against them. He would have been just, boys with them. Yeah. <laughs> 
he wouldn't even like they wouldn't have even taken the plane yet. He would have walked to the front and been like, "Hey, I'm flying this to a different city where hate crimes are legal." <laughs> anywhere Boston. in America, Boston, <laughs> anywhere with a police yeah. force is probably good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm oh. shocked that Mark Wahlberg like still has a career. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys know about uh about uh John Hamm also? What did John Ham? John Ham's John Ham's Missouri boy. Don't you guys don't know about my, John don't, Hamm. Don't break my heart. I need. I gotta he's know, handsome. but it's gonna hurt. He's handsome um, enough to get away with it. He's very yeah. way more um, handsome than Mark Wahlberg. You uh, would you want me to read it? Well, let me read it word for word from his own Wikipedia page. Oh no. <laughs> um, okay. So. While at the University of Texas, Ham was arrested for participating in a violent hazing act, uh, incident in November 1990. The 20-year-old Ham lit the pledge's jeans on fire, shoved his face in the dirt, and struck him with a paddle over his right kidney before leading the pledge around the fraternity house with a hammer claw around the pledge's testicles. What? <laughs> So that's just torture. Yeah. So he literally like mutilated this dude for a for like hey like a haze thing. He put a hammer claw around the dude's balls and dragged him so let me around the, the frat house. Claw. I don't I don't have a reference for this. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna like it. Yo, but Madman is so good. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's bad. And wait, I'm is like, it, is, it like is it or wait, hammer claw? How do you spell that? A, a, like a claw. You know, C L A W. It's like the back of a hammer. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's brutal. And it's like these, like war zone weapons, and I was like, I don't think this is. <laughs> yeah. was like it was an old fashioned with blizzard. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I don't know how he is now. Oh, but there also is one other thing. Um, oh no, no. He was uh, on the plane in 9/11, and things. <laughs> yeah. He and crashed he... them into the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. If yeah, he it, wasn't on that plane, things would have gone down a whole lot different. Yeah. Let's get a close-up of this Snapple going into the glass. Ooh, what flavor is Snapple? Peach. Mm. Oh, nice. Good choice. Thank you. Great so, choice. Trying to make good decisions. Other than he, saying that John Hamm did 9-11. <laughs> he, he was, uh, he was uh, asked about it in an interview, oh. and his quote, um, his quote for it was... Um, let, let me let me really figure out exactly what he says so I can make sure I don't I don't uh, mess up his words. Um, but oh, he goes. His quote is, "It was a bummer of a thing that happened." <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that sucked. Yeah, I was like, "Dang, oh, what a what a shame." Oh, I guess the guy that did that. <laughs> <laughs> I though. wish I <laughs> wish someone was there to stop it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> if I was there, things would have gone down differently. <laughs> like put me in that room right there. I don't know that guy. At least the testicles would have been ripped off entirely. It's just like, <laughs> yeah. like a little underwhelming. Just kept dragging him around. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. So that that that's me. okay. There's there's this guy on TikTok. Jacob Kaplan, seventeen. This guy, he's fucking hilarious. Super uh -huh. underrated. Um, uh, K A P L A N for Jacob uh, for Kaplan. But he has this bit that's like people in like people in documentaries who did really shitty things like when they were younger, trying to justify it. And it's just like, I mean, you were kids. You didn't know any better. <laughs> <laughs> like that is the go. Yeah. That is literally the go-to for like anyone that makes. They're like. Dude, I was 21. Yeah, yeah it's, like, <laughs> it's like it's like so development of Agent Orange and deployment of that in in Vietnam. What are your thoughts? <laughs> I was 35. <laughs> I know it was a wild time in my life. I wasn't it's thinking like straight. Working for the CIA. Like, what do you want me to do? Yeah, right? you were crazy back then. They asked me to to work on MK Ultra. What you want me to say? I was just locked in. I had to. I was a 45 year old. <laughs> I was just, I was in the beginning of my career. I was a 45 yeah. year old dad divorced <laughs> yeah. twice over. Like, yeah. like, I With don't the know. 401k. Yeah. Like, we I was all just, make I was mistakes. trying to, I was trying to make my way into the industry. I was a 60 year old C. I was the head of the, <laughs> yeah. I, was, I, don't know. I was like, really just trying to get things started. I got, okay. You know, I, I listened, there's this podcast on Spotify called stuff you should know. Um, uh, yeah. yeah I've it's a very, it. very enjoyable one. It's just like, you know, you talk about whatever. And they did one on um, on MK Ultra and shit. And apparently, at the time of MK Ultra, it was either the CIA or the FBI. Like they would just like dose people with like psychedelics in the office for like pranks. <laughs> <It's just> crazy. <gasps> That's cr like and and the um 
I, one of my biggest problems with like stuff you should know is that they're kind of like libby about it yeah they're, they're very, very yeah. They'll, yeah. they'll be like oh the cia oh there oh it is. oh but my interface is all fucked up. There so we go. Know. They're like, oh, the CIA did this like really messed up thing, but like, that's the CIA. Like, yeah, <laughs> get rid of it. Yeah, well, we don't. The CIA. <laughs> they were dosing their buds. If I put like psychedelics in a good, like I worked at Goodwill, if I put psychedelics <laughs> in like one of my coworkers' coffee, I would be gone the next day. <laughs> You'd be in prison. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> experimenting on thousands of cities. Yeah. No, but um, yeah, they were just talking about how like. It like like they would like go to work at nine a.m. and then like all of them would like huddle around and like get some psychedelics, just like put them in somebody's coffee and just like watch them for the rest of the day. <laughs> they didn't they wrong with you? Didn't they also do one where they gave like soldiers acid or something like that? I think everybody's done that. Yeah, that's so tr so, so true. They were soldiers. They were so they were oh, soldiers. they were twenty one. But if I was there, if I was there personally, <laughs> yeah, would have gone down differently. That's so. That's, I, I <laughs> would have been I, enough acid to win the war. <laughs> <laughs> that's like honestly whenever they're like creating these like you know agent orange and stuff like just like drop not like like psychedelic acid not like burning <laughs> acid but like because like, that would change a lot of people's minds on war i think yeah. you know i yeah I, I have a suggestion really quick which is that tom gray nick green agent orange <laughs> <laughs> hey, can we call you agent orange agent orange <laughs> Hold honestly, on. I'm, I'm, let me let me get canceled for this really quick. Honestly, I'm gonna, yes. I'm gonna change it. <laughs> oh, my dead, name, my dead name has been my display name this whole time. That's such an L. Oh, <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> but um, I don't I don't know if you guys have like done acid before. I've uh, I've had my fair share of experiences on it, and that is the last thing you want someone to like just <laughs> dose you without your knowledge on. Yeah, at that work. at the CIA. Yeah, at the CIA. <laughs> Like yeah, out. you're a like, CIA. Uh, you're gonna torture this you know, incumbent. And... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't uh, I remember like a few years ago? That's actually how a... they came up with the idea to kill JFK. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, they were like, "Why didn't we think of this before?" <laughs> yeah, wasn't there a? There's like a Joe Rogan podcast like three years ago that like people got mad because. It was, uh, I forgot their, it was Ari, whatever his name Ari is. Ari Shafir drugged Burt Kreischer. Yeah, he drugged Burt Kreischer with like acid in his drink at like, at with his, his family. house. Yeah, with his, and then, like, his kids. <laughs> yeah, and then got in an argument with him over it, like on the podcast, like telling him why, like laughing it off. And Burt was seriously Ooh. like, dude, you can't do that. Yeah. And like, they all just kind of were like laughing it off, except for like, uh, I forgot the, the other dude's name. It was like the Red only Band one that was like serious about it. Uh, oh, Tom, Tom Segura or whatever. Uh, oh, which sure. that is, that's like a, such a fucked up thing to do. I know. I was like, dude, <laughs> like he was like, with his family. This isn't 1950 CIA office. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like we moved on. Classy. Yeah. They, they were young and impressionable, yeah. but now young, dumb, young, dumb yeah. CIA agents. <laughs> young, dumb. Yo, you when think I was a kid, I was 75. <laughs> <laughs> Working for the government. What a, yeah. We're all silly whenever we work for the government doing entry secret level, operations. Entry level, yeah. six hundred thousand dollars a year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no degree required. The only degree no, you need is true. no app. That's, that's true for every government job. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> you just need to hate people enough. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but um, Nick, I know we got to get this out of the way. I, Nick, I know you went to a theme park recently. Yes, <laughs> I recently went to my first. Last time I was was on the the old the old pod. The old pod. We talked about how I rode my first roller coasters ever. Yes, at Universal, at correct? Park. Yeah, Universal. I rode my, my the Hulk and Rip Ride Rocket, um, two coasters that I I really liked. And the Mummy. And the Mummy, which I don't really <laughs> count, but I like I don't really count that as my like whatever but um it's still a fun ride i'd go on the mummy if i went back i think it's cool um but i would i wouldn't count it on my list of of faves yeah it's not, it's not your why your fave is problematic the mummy. yeah the mummy because it <laughs> tricked me when i was younger into thinking the ride was over and then <laughs> the ball like, exploded yeah. and the mummy came out and then it kept going but you went ah. to uh six flags there in illinois great america great america um 
and you know first time at a at a roller coaster park with the intention to ride nice <laughs> intention to ride that's a, dude that's, that's my that's favorite like a 1960s movie it's <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> Intention to ride. We got a ticket to ride. We got planes, trains, and automobiles. And then we have intention. To ride. <laughs> the guy really trying to do something with the whole movie. Yeah, never quite just, there. It never out. He this wants before Citizen Kane, so they didn't know how to film anything. Yeah, yeah. he wants to ride so bad, but yeah. it just yeah. doesn't happen. He intended to. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't even like. He doesn't even want it that bad. He just has the intent. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> I was thinking, it. I was gonna, I was going with the intention to ride. If it doesn't happen, it's. They didn't have roller coasters yet, so it's like a horse on a railroad. <laughs> yeah. Just standing there. Yeah. Literally, like, steam like, looking engines around. would be their roller coasters back then, you know? Like a old-fashioned train. Yeah. And they'd be like, this is fucking crazy. It's going straight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so fast. It's going, like, oh, 20 shit. miles. Eight back. miles an hour. Yeah. They got guys They're on both ends doing that days. thing yeah. where they jump yeah. up and down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ro, uh, I don't, I don't know if we talked about this. Do you like roller coasters? Little, Did I, we? I'm, I'm pretty unfamiliar with roller coasters, really? uh, other than steam engines. You know, I, I've, I've gone on one. Yeah. I think, ever roller coasters. I get anxious about heights. Fun, yeah. Little baby. That's how I was. Yeah. You're like the baby. Did you say what's up? Yeah, you're um, like the baby. So first of all, I, I want to extend my apologies to all gay people, really quick, for saying that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Your 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 screen right. <laughs> your your camera just turns into a black screen with text on it. Yeah, yeah. No, it's the stop notes hate. App just falls yeah. down. <laughs> or I just pull a cable in like a big yeah. Thing. It's like yeah. a projector screen <laughs> yeah, behind yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> what what is your guy like? Both yours like, um, like, what do you think is like the most uh like? Uh, I'm trying to think of the word, like embarrassing method as like or embarrassing like form to apologize on you know like there's the notes app apology there's like making a youtube video with the <sighs> at the beginning you know what what's it's like the, the most uh, embarrassing it's the um, story it's the story post where they press the camera against something so it's a black screen but you can see like the noise <laughs> you can tell so and, and then they put enough. over it yeah, yeah yeah or or it's the um the like live version where they do it on live and somebody like screen records and they're just really ranty and rambling oh the yeah. live ones are horrible yeah Li live ones are That's so good. bad the the worst one though is i don't know you guys know mr beard right on tiktok yeah yeah, yeah. He the cnma one he yeah he did a commentary video about the about sienna may who i forgot what she what she did wrong i think it was uh, uh it's like it was sexual oh, assault abuse. it was yeah abuse. yeah it was yeah. yeah she made out with this dude while he's sleeping all this stuff mm -hmm. Trigger warning after yeah. the fact. That yeah. was great. Um, <laughs> that's that's the best trigger warnings come after you say something. Yeah. Someone's like, like oh god, and then latency. Yeah. It's like people are like, what happened there? And it's like 20 Zoom seconds delay. latency. I yes. said it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We can we can we can like put something. We'll yeah, we'll, we'll we'll edit it in. We'll edit um, that. Yeah, but she did like I'm not a, edit it. <laughs> you should edit it. It's, it's, we'll put it we'll put it in the the no, in the in the, yeah in the description i'll put a yeah. trigger one yeah um sorry i just put way, <laughs> gave you way more work and made us seem like horrible yeah. people <laughs> we didn't even do anything bad just... i'm so sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry we didn't mean it um uh what was i gonna say so she did like a dance number video God. where she like did this voiceover and was like God put me on this earth to like create and and it was like her going up an elevator fully produced video like well shot like music behind it and everything and then a song from Sam Smith where <laughs> where they sing something like um I kissed like a hundred boys or something what <laughs> no yeah. imagine, imagine being the DP on call <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're, and like, you're like, they're like hey we need a glide cam operator and you're like yeah what's what's the gig they're like so <laughs> have okay, you heard of so, tiktok <laughs> so um you know assault <laughs> so you know when you're young i want i want to present i want to i want to present to you solving it with dan <laughs> you know how i was born on this earth to create like god put yeah. me on this earth to create oh, oh yeah. yeah 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 I, yeah sure yeah, so uh, I sort of assaulted someone. Oh. oh! So what are you going to do about that? Create. Cre I'm going to create. 
and <laughs> yeah, start dancing. Oh, fuck. God, fuck she does this move, this like karate chop move, where she's like, <laughs> and it's so That's funny. What I'm doing to see anime if I ever see you, just <laughs> right in the jug, right in the side, bro, and then in the bro, in the bro, leg. Yeah. <laughs> Krav Maga. Krav Maga, <laughs> that's right. 15 seconds. Jocko <laughs> willing Tommy. <there. laughs> Jock, I love Jocko. Good. Yo, you're you're struggling to live paycheck to paycheck. Good. Like, <laughs> that guy's just hilarious. Like, <laughs> <laughs> up. Good. Yeah, malnourished all the time, constantly covered in sweat. And like, oh my gosh. He has, he has like <laughs> surgically installed plastic surgery veins. Uh, Nick, <laughs> Nick do you know stress. Jocko? I don't think I do. Oh, you I would, know if I you would love. You could get uh, some guy. gold mine of content out of. Yeah, I'm sure I could make good. something out of that. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's nuts. He really does. He does look like a um, like somebody stretched a person over a basketball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his head and his neck. His his head is a basketball. His neck is a football. Oh you my know? gosh! How do you? What's his? How do you spell his name? Jocko, oh. like J O C K O, and. What's his last name, Rue? I can't remember. Willink. W I L L I N K. Yeah, that's oh really does sound like Why does his face sorry. look like this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every one of his pictures is like, he looks like he's pouting. Yeah. And he's one of those dudes that like gives advice that's not even like advice. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it's literally like, yeah, you're struggling. Good. The, the yes. struggle is good. And it's like, okay, like but like, I don't, it. yeah, like, I don't want to struggle. Like, I need help with bills and stuff. It's good. <laughs> Your parents yell at you every single day. Get ear canceling, noise canceling headphones. Yeah. <laughs> the only issue here is the hearing damage. Yeah. Love yourself. I love <laughs> advice when it's like, just buy something, you know, buy something yeah. to take care yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. That's the best advice. It makes me laugh. It's like, yeah, not all, everyone has, like, what about like mental? Like, no, what you need to do is like go on a vacation. Have you been dealing with with verbal harassment from your parents? Just general yelling. Well, Audible.com <laughs> has this great audiobook where they teach you how to tell your parents to stop. <laughs> oh, oh, meeting has been upgraded by the host and now includes unlimited minutes. Like, That's right. I got is the bourgeois. That's right. Yo, oh. yeah, I, oh, I actually now. I spent all my sure mic money on uh, oh, Zoom yeah. unlimited one time. Week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> On Zoom box. $400 Zoom box. Yeah, do they have their own currency? Their own <laughs> customized they, currency? It's a crypto, actually. Oh. It, yeah. It's for the Zoom battle royale where 100 people hop in a call and whoever beats <laughs> last wins. You're just sitting on the call, like, yeah. straining. Just, like, eating ramen. <laughs> yeah. You can't let your face leave it, so you're, like, trying to, like, shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, you have a toilet off to the side. You're, like... impossible. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, someone's like, "What? <laughs> I heard, I heard something." And the person on like, "No, no." What's up? <laughs> yeah, what's up? What's up? No, I was listening so hard. <laughs> what <are> you <laughs> She's like, "Hold on, I have to piss." <laughs> yeah, yeah, turn it around. You can't mute yourself at all. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <sighs> all right, but once I've never again, been on a roller coaster. You've never been. Yeah, that's where no, we I started have, this conversation. Uh, I've I've been on one. I've been on one, and I don't remember it. Oh, you don't remember what ride it was. I, it was at like, it was at the Puyallup Fair in Washington. It's not like a popular one. I've I don't oh. really go to the theme parks. Mm. I might have gone. I went to Legoland once. I don't know if I went on a roller coaster. Probably it was probably like an EF Miller or something. You know. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is yeah, that like a Confederate war veteran. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. like General E. F. Miller. His ghost, his ghost came and built it, and now I'm yeah. ready. <laughs> Which it can is... sense if you're it can sense if you're brown and it'll break and you... Yeah, it'll it'll shut down and not <laughs> let you rock. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there ha there has to be a certain amount of white people on the ride for it to run. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's just how it goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's just a manufacturer's <laughs> defect <laughs> on those rides. Yeah, it's sort of <laughs> Sort of like a uh, racist in a sense, yeah. It's yeah. built in. Yeah, it's built in. <laughs> yeah, it's just part of the program. It was I just know. baked into the roller coaster design. <laughs> yeah. Speaking speaking of speaking of race here, hold on. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> hold on, Let's see where this I, uh, goes. <laughs> no, this is this is something Nick and I were talking about the other day. I was having a conversation with somebody, um, talking about Nick, and we were going back and forth, like arguing, and somebody was like, "Whatever, he's just a white boy," and I was like, "Wait." I was like, "Wait a minute." I went. I texted Nick, and I was like. Are you white? <laughs> Every, everybody, everybody, like on the internet, because like Nick is making videos with like Curtis and Danny. Yeah. Like, 
Nick is a is a white boy. Is a, is our white short king. First of all, five eleven, not short. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nick, if anyone's our, the short king, it's me. Okay. Yeah, true, true. Five <laughs> nine, really rocking that that small that small. I'm a, small? I heard. I don't mean to. Enter, I heard someone say small bean, oh. like out loud in public yeah. the other day. No that thanks. Ruined my fucking day. <laughs> like I was I small felt bean. Small. Yeah. S M O L. Yeah, I felt sick. <laughs> it was horrible. Sorry, Ro. Go ahead. Sorry. Well, any anywho, Nick, comments on <laughs> being a white? I guess. Yeah, Nick, are you a white? Well, I I, I would not identify myself as such. My mother is <laughs> was born in the Philippines, um, and and is not white. Um, but my dad is. And so, you know, I have that, that, but I don't really, I don't really look like him at all. Um, but yeah, I get two worlds. (laughs) Yeah. I just don't know where I belong. I'm not, I'm not, this is like, isn't it some logic line where he's like, like, I'm not white enough for like the white people, but I'm not like black enough for the black people. And I'm like, all right, man, cool. Um, (laughs) you can have friends. You can be friends with anybody. But yeah. And and then every, every white dude listening to that was like, dude, I relate so much. (laughs) Yeah, you know, they're like, yeah, I get I'm never it. White enough for the white people because yeah. I was, I just grew up with other people. Like, you know, I just love everybody. I don't care if you're, you're purple, yellow. Yeah, oh I God. hate that so that fucking, fucking much. I don't care if you're green or purple or blue or red. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where are the these Star Wars? Where, what are yeah. these? Where's this spectrum coming from? Yeah. Yeah. Did you start I, talking about gay people? It's yeah. What are you, what are <laughs> yeah, I think I uh, heard that line in real life. I cannot remember when it was, but it was li- like I. The last time I heard that line was like when I was in high school. Like one of like so one of my friends' dads like said it, but like literally in the past like month or two, I remember either seeing that line written online by someone or like said, and I was like, how is the meme not like? transpired to the point where you learn not to no. you know hey i had that i was coaching um so i had a uh, i had like a trend mutual just like a content creator who is like sort of like getting flack for something and i was like i don't think you should be getting this much flash for you i'm gonna help you format like i want to help coach you through an apology to like you know see like you know what did you do wrong like how could you get better and they uh the, the person oh i see you tweet about me. this yeah yeah they they sent me a draft and it was like going like okay and i was like this is all right and then they were like to be honest with you i don't see color at all oh, i was no, like pause oh no, no i was like wait wait what did we talk about <laughs> that's such a like i don't understand how people still say that i can't i can't yeah do like and i they, they were like oh it was all good intent. i just like you know i, I don't want to judge people based on race and i was like you see color though yeah like <laughs> literally, dog. literally everyone does like that yeah. but the point is like it doesn't the blind. <laughs> yeah yeah except for yeah except for that that's I, that was very ableist of me i'm so yeah. sorry so i'm so so i'm so what sorry did you say? Wait, can, can no you, i i exclude i excluded the blind i'm so sorry guys that's, that's my fault no, I, I, oh gosh, did you guys see a viral video? Um, it was like from like an old cut video or something. It was of a, um, a blind guy talking about like racial profiling where he was like, well, if I hear somebody sort of like talking and they sound like less like educated or more ghetto, I might assume that they're black. And it was like, <laughs> <laughs> like you, you, your entire life have never seen somebody's skin color and yet you finessed racism yeah. anyways. <laughs> it's almost impressive. It's almost <laughs> impressive if it wasn't horrendous. Yeah, That's course, all. Yeah. <laughs> what, how would you say that out loud? Yeah. <laughs> they were like, we need you to be honest. And he was like, okay, yeah, I no, there are brown people are kind of like, <laughs> he's like, uh, well, he's like unbuttoned his shirt. And like, <laughs> Let's get into it really quick. So if I hear a brown person on the street, I'm going to probably start yelling and running around <laughs> no, you no it's like i why That's, why people why people need a little bit of, of work uh, yeah uh, as up, i uh, i'll be i'll be the resident white guy 100 percent agree 100 <laughs> thank you so agree. much thank you yeah thank you. no no problem you know it's really like you know i wish i wasn't white that, I, wish, <laughs> <laughs> I hate those fucking people i could go back yeah. in time and kill my parents <laughs> yeah <laughs> Just so I wouldn't be here, so there's less oppression. Yeah. I would do it. 
I would do it. It would be me right away. I can't though. <laughs> or can you? If I were there, <laughs> it'd be different. You? It would have gone down differently. <laughs> Remember there. If I was yeah, there I... when my parents fucked, it would have been completely. <laughs> <laughs> I wait, wait, wait. they would have freaked out they would have freaked out on your son from the future they would have been like why are you why are you in this Danny's parking lot with us <laughs> yeah. honey get in the closet I like that you think my parents are classy enough for Denny's it's uh, Waffle House my friend oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Waffle no, House no, no, my parents it was a it was a either a Baskin Robbins or a Red Robin it was Robin related maybe even <laughs> nest your like, parents fucked in a nest just like, just like they were like <laughs> ravaging around and like <laughs> They they had to build it before they yeah. brought their own hay. <laughs> like we're grabbing from it. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, but I once in high school legitimately had my cousin say to me, uh, "I really like. I kind of like sometimes wish I had OCD so I could like be more." And and this was before I was like per, like I was personally diagnosed with it. But like Wait, my brother and I, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, shit. yeah. It's more like. Like I don't talk about it very often because people yeah. get very like weird about because it's a very yeah. big spectrum of mm, like yeah. what you can experience and mine's pretty different from yeah. like it's more physically okay. so it's like like people will always be like oh so vote and they just ask too many questions and so I'm like no I just have ADHD but yeah. before that like like my brother and I even when she said that we were like early in high school my brother and I were like no no you don't wish that <laughs> <laughs> like you don't want that no. Uh, uh, if the the amount of people that that still think that OCD is like being clean and organized, it's like no, it's a waking. Like, have you seen my? If you saw the floor right now in this yeah. office, you'd realize <laughs> you could look around my room, and if you looked into my mind, you would see me screaming. <laughs> yeah, it's so... it's like it's the same with like ADHD though. Like still, the amount of people that are yeah. like, oh yeah, ADHD. It's just like you know you struggle to like pay attention. Whatever. Yeah. It's like no, it fucking ruins my life, yeah. dude. <laughs> The, the amount of people I still see that are like, oh, yeah, I have ADD, not ADHD, because I'm not hyperactive. I'm like, that's yeah. not what ADHD ADD's is. ADD is not even no. real either. Like, ADD, it's just... ADD, there's no distinction. Yeah. yeah. And, like, even when I tell them, like, oh, medically, there's no distinction, they're like, yeah, I just don't have the hyperactive part. Like, neither do I. I don't yeah. Know. I just, like, hate myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm, just, I'm just over... Can't stop That's what the H stands for. That's what the mask is. Attention. That's what the hate yourself. So <laughs> I got to take my normal pills really quick. Yeah. Yo, dude, throw out your normal pills, man. Who needs your normal pills? Yeah, come on, dog. Let's be weird. <laughs> Let's, be weird. <laughs> Let's get loose. <laughs> be yourself. <laughs> oh, wait. But going back to... I have a lot of people who don't like... Like, whenever I, you know... Whenever we like to get funny with the stands online, I always have people that are just like to throw out the word white at me. And I'm like, it's weird <laughs> if I'm just like, no, I'm not white. Like, I don't, I hate yeah. to, like, that just because if, you know, yeah. if someone, like, if someone deems you, it, it, a lot of people would say, if someone deems you white passing, then you're white passing. And I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to get in that conversation. Yeah. yeah. So I'm always just like, you know, it's whatever. You tell me, you, you get to tell me what, what I am, yeah. what I experience, but yeah, you know, it's fine. It. I say, I, I always have ideas. <clears throat> like I saw a TikTok today of some lady that was like, what's your musical hot take? Here's mine. My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy by Kanye is not top 500 albums of all time. And I just wanted to stitch it and be like, this is the whitest thing I've ever <laughs> fucking heard in my life. And I'm like, it's like, it's I, like I'm a white dude, so I, I'll leave that to someone else to say Start off by it. saying the full My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy instead of MBDTF. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because I'm going to fuck, because the then I have to be thing. like, wait, in my head, I have to be like, my beautiful, in my, yeah. yeah. But, that, but then th the second thing, you're stitching a hot music take, very white. The third thing, <laughs> this you're, referring is true. To, you're referring to this nebulous top 500 albums of all Yeah, time. that's only, such a... Only white people really slob that's, no, the I'm rating just, that, system That's that what much. she said. So I'm just... <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about her. I'm not... Oh, I'm, oh okay. <laughs> oh, no, I, I'm like being an asshole. <laughs> so, Tom, like, you're going to stitch but... a hot music take? Yeah, what's <laughs> wrong with you? No, I'm like, sorry. This idea that they're like top top albums of all time that like people can rank it's yeah 500 like, that's yeah, like 500. such a broad umbrella of yeah. like what's possible plus they have like a million albums yeah. if he's under 500 that's not even bad also, yeah like it's be a wonderful album <laughs> yeah is. like a thousand top five thousand would still be like really good albums yeah, yeah. <laughs> i got in the top five thousand i would be like oh i'm done yeah, yeah. there's my career <laughs> but like um 
fuck it's gone never mind it's gone out of my okay. head forever Bye. yeah see you guys yeah. thanks so much for listening Zoom call. let's have <laughs> nick and i do a little bit of talking now <laughs> yeah yeah you guys talk. so yeah we're coming out with music soon now that the um, now that the white man is gone oh i remember <laughs> <laughs> but like I have, <laughs> back I, into his head i i have favorite albums that like i know objectively aren't very good but like they're my favorite albums like, yeah something in yeah. me like i know most people like fucking hate them but like for me it, like music is so objective i don't know why people argue over music yeah. it's subjective yeah Subjective. So your... Sorry, sorry, Ro. Yeah. So what's your hot? <laughs> okay, it's just you look silly. For I look, I look stupid all the time, so it's okay. What's my what hot is... music? Yeah, tape? yeah. Um, I I said on TikTok, but um, Limp Biscuit is more influential than the Beatles. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, Beatles are fine. Wait, Which that's... is literally true. That's the Ringo Star girl in the call. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, hey. Yeah. Um, no cameras, please. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Stop! Like, please, stop. Can we, please, can we please get this away? <laughs> Ro, do you have a uh... <laughs> uh, Ro, Do you have a hot music take? Um, do you want? Uh, I guess it's just like I have, to, I have to have some time to think. I was I was compelled by what you said about like favorite albums not being like very good. Um, yeah. My favorite albums of all time, I don't think, are tens. Like people yeah. have this obsession with like tens, perfect albums that has nothing. Yeah. It's like I have one one album that is like a ten, makes it way into like my favorite albums list, and that's "To Pimp a Butterfly" uh, because so good. it's yeah, it, it, it's it's like flawless. But um, and, but like I I still can't like fully resonate with that album because I'm not black. Um, so like if I could, I can only imagine like how much like crazier that album would be. Mm. Um. The fact that it resonates with somebody like me who's not black is like also incredible. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess my rap hot take is like um, people criticize white rappers for being white rappers a lot, but I think just in general that criticism should be levied also at non-black rappers in general because um, I feel like there are a lot of non-black rappers who sort of fall into the, a lot of the same traps that like so white Nav? rappers do. <laughs> Na, yeah, Nav, Nav, we all love Nav. That is fun. That is fun. Um, no, Nav has some like bangers. A, I don't I don't even listen to him, but he seems like he's having a good time. Yeah, it's like, like it's, he's intruding too much. Nav doesn't like it's not good music. It's fun music. <laughs> it's the same with Limp Bizkit. Limp Bizkit is not good, yeah. but it's so fucking fun that like who cares yeah <laughs> like uh -huh. it's just like it's like uh insane clown posse you know yeah like people used to hate on juggalos all the time but then you realize like oh it's just like a fun community of people where they get to cut yeah. loose and like just dance to weird music like yeah they get who, to take photos where they pose like <laughs> yeah <laughs> i want to be a juggalo that, yeah drinking yeah, drinking fago on the roof you know that's such a fun thing to do wearing really big pants <laughs> yeah, with chains on them yeah <laughs> it's a lot of what i strive to be nick do you have a uh a music hot take um god do i oh do i no i really don't know if i, I don't do even it. know like what what music either of you are like super into um most of it's for me is like is like hip hop and rap at the moment or it has been for like the past few years. Um, but like I never, you know, I don't mind a little like my album right now is Claro's new album is the one that I'm just so like good. that I'm just like obsessing over when I was like never really into her before and that album just like freaking grabbed me by the throat and now I just listen to it every night to fall asleep. It's but, really good. Claro's yeah. awesome. I love Claro. Yeah. I think for me right now my album is uh i showed it to nick the other day fishmonger by Underscore. yeah dude like, oh. hyper pop rock it's so fucking good what, what's it called fishmonger, fishmonger. Yeah. I'm gonna look that up. fishmonger my girlfriend and i listened to that album in the car yesterday while we were driving around and we were both just like wow this so is fun. so good like so good even like it was just like one of those albums where like the first listen really really grabbed me and yeah, yeah. i was just like it it just i don't know it's really interesting i feel like everyone should take a listen because it could definitely introduce you to a new genre if you're not really like great. it's it's into that stuff gateway. i'm gonna i'm gonna listen to that you said it was like hyper pop rock kind of stuff yeah that's yeah. dope that's dope it's so good yeah i think and then for for other music i listen to i listen to like a good amount of quote unquote hyper pop which is really broad yeah I to like some ginger root recently some like indie singer songwriter stuff 
Um, and then a lot of rap and hip hop. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm a I'm a big uh, like hyper pop nerd. Yeah. Um, what are some of your favorites? Uh, Gfoty. I love Girlfriend of the Year. Definitely. Um, I like. Uh, I don't know if they count, but I like. Uh, oh fuck. Uh, Cockaholics. I do not know that. <laughs> Cockaholics is very fun, like hilarious music with like great beats behind it. Mm-hmm. Um, also, uh, Ravana Golden. Love Ravana Golden. And I don't know if you guys have heard like the Cake Pop albums. Oh, I've heard of it, but I don't think I've Cake heard. Pop sounds familiar. Cake Pop is uh, Dil- like Dylan Brady oh, produced, yeah. but it's like yeah. a hyper pop, like super group kind of thing where they all just get together. Like Cake yeah. Pop 2 is one of my favorite albums of this year. Dylan, it's yeah, so Dylan fun. Brady. Dylan Brady. And I, I love 100 Gex. I've heard some stuff about Dylan Brady being kind of weird with like freshmen at college parties, <laughs> huh. 27, which I'm like, mm, maybe be more responsible yeah uh, and like don't little... be weird but yeah i love laura less 100 percent. laura um, less is aw- less like is... one of my idols i love laura less oh yeah she's so great yeah she's like I don't know, her voice her voice right now is probably one of the most impactful beautiful just, like things in general music beautiful like, the amount of people who are taking like the 100 gex route and just like fucking yeah and doing whatever is awesome. yeah i it's think cool. haunted by laura less is one of the uh one of the best songs of the year Oh yeah, it's yeah. really fucking good. What are, it's what insane. Are, uh, what are some of your top songs of the year for everybody? Ooh, um, I would do I would do "Haunted" by Laura Less, uh, "Kook Song" by GFOTY. Mm-hmm. Um, if the Kanye album came out, <laughs> uh, I would say "Jail" because that is an incredible song. Um, um yeah i don't I don't know if i've had a lot of the stuff on um super what that came out with uh sour face was really cool um i really like uh uh the new the new tyler of course the new claro like i said um i'm trying to think of what else like if there's any if there's any singular stuff that came out that like um that really grabbed me at the beginning oh. of this year. For some reason, I got really into Johnny Cash for some reason, which is like the first <laughs> time I've ever got into that. But I, yeah, I would, I would stream and I just wanted to feel like a cowboy. Nick's white dad arc. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's coming out of me. That's like, I've never been into country before. And that was just like Johnny Cash just was like, every time it comes on now, it just takes me back to February. Yeah. There's, <laughs> Country is like if you do like Johnny Cash, Willie Nelson kind of yeah, country, like it's stuff. pretty good. Um, it's pretty fun. Country, country has some pops. I love. I do. I do appreciate like almost every form of songwriting. Oh yeah. Exception. I don't. I don't particularly like it when people say like everything but country. But it's yeah. Like, it's yeah. Country. It's pretty country. And like uh, literally, Cash. literally everything but this genre. Like the, you can find songs of any genre yeah. that you'd be like, that's exactly. pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> exactly. Bro, what are your uh, what are your faves this year? My phrase "Law of Averages" by Vince Staples, uh, mm. "Skate" by Silk Sonic. My top, yeah, my top so song good. of this year, I think by far and away, is a uh, "Talk Words" by Bickle. I, I heard that yesterday. Wow. Was crazy. You sent me a playlist, yeah. and I listened to that. And so that that line, what what is it? Your you, my heart's so big it starts leaking or something. Yeah, yeah. It's such a good line. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, where the oddball keeping me even, even my heart's so big it starts leaking, but then we get yeah. so comfortable that we stop speaking. That's great. I love that. It's really um, good. And then Left at London's new album, which I helped on. I love. Which I I have listened. That album's really good. And you performed recently. How was that? I did. Uh, it was pretty fun. I only did like a song or two, but I got. That's fun. Heard. I had a great time. Nat is super awesome. Um. Yeah. It was my fun first performance under my new name uh hell yeah like artist name so yeah. and what's insane is like because nat was on uh vine right yeah and that was on vine I'm- yeah like that's how i found her was mm-hmm. on vine and then like just seeing like what came after that mm-hmm. like where she's at now it's it's fucking crazy dude yeah. it's awesome yeah. i love it i love it too um i have a few mutuals from vine who i've just like I looked up, like I looked, I watched their content and compilations and like on the app when I was younger. Um, Cause I was, I think a lot of people my age talk about Vine, but didn't actually like have it. Cause it was like, you know, seventh, sixth grade. And it was sort of yeah. like 
how high old school are, is the time that I was how I'm old 19. Are you? 19. Nick, how old are you? I'm 22. 22. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So like I, I had it in like sixth, seventh grade. And then yeah, I you were like literally a minor like, when that came. I was literally a minor. You were literally not a minor. Not a, not a minor, but a minor. Some terrible <laughs> minds out there. But um, yeah, I, I remember like watching stuff and like Sarah Shower and Young Lame and like Left at London would come up. Like, wow, I Left forgot about those period. names. Dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was in I mean, high school when Vine was yeah. like really big, yeah. so like I I spent so much time watching Vine mm-hmm. as as a uh, uh, a young man. What are you, um, what are, what are your thoughts on Vine versus TikTok? Um, I think people have rose colored glasses on when it comes to Vine. Yeah. yeah they're like it was so good like no you had to sift through so much garbage yeah. to, it's yeah. just like to, you had to sift through dog shit to find like the one video where you're like this is really funny and, and if you went to the comedy section on vine it was gonna be <sighs> lele ponds and fucking yeah king batch curtis, like curtis laporte which is he shouldn't have a career he's a fucking yeah dude he's, yeah yeah he's him and his Ugh. dumbass pug <laughs> he don't <Yeah>. leave <laughs> Yeah, Stupid yeah. Dog. <laughs> it's like why they like, extra like, hate like, on the dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like talking about Curtis and then uh, like all the like Curtis support is a bad person and it's little fucking, <laughs> fucking like, little dipshit in Brett no <laughs> <laughs> with his big ass eyes and his <laughs> little tongue need to get <laughs> off the app. Walked around all weird. <laughs> The, pro- freak. <laughs> the problem with Curtis Lepore's dog, a threat. No, yeah. Yeah, Curtis, Curtis is like a, a terrible person. And I, I, it really makes me sad that like all that shit surrounding. Cause I remember hearing about it, like what, like eighth grade. And I mean, yeah. he was like, I'm never watching this guy again. Yeah. Like the fact that like nothing ever came to fruition with like him being deplatformed makes me really sad. But I mean, it's the same case with a lot of. I was going to say that happens things. a ton still mm-hmm. where like, you know, it's like someone fucks up, does something like horrible. Yeah. And then the go to is like, yeah, take a year or two off. Yeah. And then come back. And then somehow people are like, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It's fine. Think, which yeah. he's just, he's just one of those people that like, when you talk about like old stuff like Vine, he doesn't come up that often because he's like, but he's still like massive. Um, yeah. He's still like a piece of shit. Yeah. Maybe I'll make a hit piece on him. Um, you should. Because I do, I do remember the like person that he assaulted was also like a content creator and yeah, I forgot I her name. Still makes up. It was um, it was Jesse, Jesse, Jesse smiles. Jesse, smiles. yes, yeah, yeah. I hope she is doing well. If I hope Jesse's, she someday she gets. Better. Jesse smiles has a YouTube channel, right? He does. Yeah, I, I was gonna say I watch her videos sometimes. Nice. Yeah, cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. Whatever. <laughs> oh, you're trying to take my youtube you're trying to take my viewers that no yeah. yeah you know i'm on youtube too so why would you bring up another oh yeah i'm it's sorry just, nick like, i'm sorry i'm like an up-and-comer you know it just yeah. feels like you're trying to silence my voice i do <laughs> i do have i do have a question about your youtube nick which i thank you for bringing up that you have a channel thank you um because i see you as nick green the friend not not nick green the uh the youtuber but yeah wait thank you, you for videos? I know I forget sometimes. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Sorry, a sponsor. A sponsor <laughs> called me. <laughs> sorry. But, um. Sorry. Wait. You make YouTube videos? Uh, sorry. <laughs> they want to talk about Audible. So. <laughs> <laughs> but Nick, is your new method just like finding a fan base, and then being like, let's let's piss them off. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just been that's been my like recent endeavor. It's mostly, very, I love it. I yeah, love watching. Mo- mostly because of Roe, but because <laughs> no, oh, throwing Roe under the bus. No, <laughs> no, because I care so much, and oh, I make, okay. and it's fun for me, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I keep on, I keep on sparking beef. It was with Drake fans and Billie Eilish fans, and they're always so transphobic and it's racist. crazy. The, the Billie Eilish, especially the Billie, blocks. the Billie yeah, Eilish was, fans yeah. were fucking insane. They were nuts. But yeah, yeah, Nick body blocked for me, and I really appreciated that because um, I was like, it gets so over. It was nasty, like nasty. Was, yeah. Um, and then I forgot. Oh, recently I got into it with the Niall Horan, which they yeah, were not yeah. bad at all. It was like yeah, maybe a call, maybe it was like a dozen people, and someone called me like grimy and white, and that was maybe like the worst of it. And then everyone was like, oh yeah, I don't really think he's you know stand Niall Horan and make fun of somebody who's not. Yeah, like sorry, <laughs> Niall Niall Horan. It sounds like Niall. I'm like doing that thing where I like mispronounce it to trigger people, but I genuinely like cannot get it right. <laughs> like, uh, well, Niall Horan looks like a poster child from German propaganda. He's like he is the white. He is the yeah 
Easy. Yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah, okay. And uh, so, yeah, I don't really know what my next endeavor is. I Oh, actually, this uh, this week I have a collab Inside video. Scoop. Yeah, this week I have a collab video coming out with Ryan or with Mr. Beard, Ryan Beard. Nice. And we talk about uh, we talk about Scott Scotty Sire's horrible music. Oh. And then oh. <laughs> and then we make like a so, like a parody song based off of like what we yeah we talk about men are, men are trash. Um, and so we make like this oh, whole song. That's, I was trying to remember who the fuck that was. Men are trash. Yeah. And, and maybe I'm a wreck. Oh fuck. Yeah, man. yeah, maybe you're a wreck. <laughs> yeah, and then there's another one that I think's worse where the the main chorus is is Zoloft, Prozac, Lexapro, all antidepressants that I've tried before. And that's like a legitimate <laughs> that's the hook. That's the hook of the song. Um where it doesn't way I, to talk about your experience with depression. Yeah, <laughs> just to naming off brands. Yeah. Yeah. I I Not love like this is what what they did to me. It just yeah. I've done them before. Yeah, <laughs> I've done them before. I also I love hooks that don't rhyme or like yeah, have yeah. A flow to them. Such a Those stretch. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know what's funny conceptually to me now is like is like you know how people like do Adderall or like we'll do like Ritalin at parties. Is like somebody setting up like four weeks of parties, one every night, where everybody takes like a medical dose, of, <laughs> like, like a different drug, of, like antidepressant, <laughs> and like over the four weeks they all experience the effects, and then they go off <laughs> at the four weeks for it. That'd be fun. Yeah. It's like the slowest burn. Like, are you feeling it yet? On the first night, it's like nah. Three weeks before the uh, the sertraline receptors. Sort of, like, yeah, before before, like, before you hit your peak. <laughs> Yeah, in a peak in three weeks. <laughs> then it's gonna be a hard fall off, and you're gonna yeah. be depressed yeah. afterwards. <laughs> you're like gonna the have first brain gets, zaps. <laughs> like the first time, first night, somebody gets serotonin syndrome. It's like, hold on, can we get the doctor in here? Yeah, we really need to adjust the dosage on this one. Um, <laughs> no, yes, no, it's gonna, not your fault. You didn't know. Um, <laughs> you're gonna build up half a dose. You're gonna do uh, five milligrams and then ten milligrams every day. Um, just make sure you don't miss it. Eat it with breakfast, and then you know, party on. I realized I realized yesterday that I haven't taken my antidepressant since May. I saw that. In May, I stopped taking it for a week, and I was like, I'll be fine. I'll just take it. I'll, like, order them in another week. Nope. How did you? Zoloft did, is calling my name. Did you not get sick? <laughs> I didn't. I was only, I'd only been taking them for, like, two or three months at that point. Oh, because okay. I, um, I'd gone off of them, and then I got really depressed. Mm. <laughs> now I'm getting a good case for myself. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I should go back on them. That's, that's, that's what I'm trying to think about. But, yeah. Yeah, that I that's... quit my uh my effectser one time, like cold turkey when I was in high school and I took it for like three years. And like my smart high school brand, I was like, fuck this. You know, <laughs> I was like, yo, throw out my happy pills. I was, I was... <laughs> and then yeah. uh I got sick for like three months. It was oh, awful, wow. was... awful. Yeah, that happened to me like a few months ago. Or like maybe a couple months ago, I like something happened with insurance and I couldn't get I I couldn't get like my it's like paroxetine or something. It's like some antidepressant. And I like had been taking it with like my with like my Adderall like for for a few years now. And I just didn't know what it did. Like I it was it was just like something I always took that my doctor was like, oh, you should try this out. And I just like kept taking it. And so I stopped taking it because something I went insurance and I just didn't really think about it because it's not like it really it's not as important to me as like my ADHD stuff or whatever. Mm. And like the next week, I just got like every night I was just like super depressed. And I was like, man, what a, like what? Like four days in, I was like, man, what like what is wrong with me? Like like this is just awful. Like I feel horrible. Like I don't know what happened that just like made this week so bad. Um, it's also what I wrote the the same week i wrote all three songs that are on the new denton ep coming out next week yeah, that there we hell yeah depression slope really is. yeah <laughs> which i didn't write music in forever and then i finally wrote a bunch of songs and i was like well, maybe this is so bad it's a nice <laughs> fact that i want to die yeah. um other than then, like suicidal thoughts this is obviously yeah. not bad <laughs> and then i got to the end of the week and i was like what is like i gotta figure out what's wrong with me and then i was like wait i've been taking this medication i look it up the first thing that comes up is like antidepressant and i was like oh yeah that probably yeah. That might have something to do with it checks out <laughs> a similar a similar thing happened for me with songwriting where i like fell in love i fell in love with this person who i like couldn't date because like um like ex, ex, external reasons of like familial like homophobia and transphobia so yeah i couldn't date them and then i was just like in it and i was like i should probably divest from this and then i like wrote like eight of the best songs i'd ever written and i was like maybe i could sit for a little bit longer with this horrendous <laughs> Thing is all right. 
Good inspiration. Yeah. Good it's inspiration. Yeah, a lot of people say it takes that kind of stuff to like write music and you're like, yeah, but you're just like, but like it really does like yeah. hell. Yeah. Like, really it's crazy. It. Like whenever I don't do stand up anymore, but whenever I did do stand up, like the only jokes I ever liked is whenever I was horribly depressed. Yeah. Because it was like the only shit that would make me laugh. And then whenever I would laugh, I'd be like, maybe that has legs. And those were the only jokes that worked where I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> whenever you're so desensitized to like anything humorous that the one thing that makes you laugh, it's like, oh, yeah, that's probably yeah. pretty funny. So, hey, kids, be depressed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It'll help you Throw away those pills, baby. Throw, Throw away, away those, those normal, normal pills. pills. Oh. <laughs> Do you think when Dream released that music video that he was like, dude, People are gonna watch this and be like, <laughs> "Like we are gonna collapse I them." I cannot imagine. It looks like a Roblox animation. I just, I don't. No, he literally he hired Minecraft animators to do the video. Oh wow! That's that's how it happened, and they're used to like the Minecraft form. Yeah, the blocky block. Yeah, stuff. but he so yeah, just yeah, like yeah. he made them change it to 3D animation, which they have like no experience or expertise on. And so that's why it just looks like like shit. Yeah, <laughs> no dude, offense to the creators. Yeah, the dude could have afforded like the Pixar animators. Yeah, yeah like, he could afford the best yeah, of the yeah. best. Yeah. His the, DreamWorks. The amount of or money. Like, like, he DreamWorks. owns DreamWorks. Because <laughs> <laughs> they says dream work. <laughs> Wait, no, it's the other way around. Yeah, work. Dream's the one that tells Pro them to work. Proletarian dream anthem. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit! How long have we been even going? Like an hour already? Jesus Christ! Time time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, this was a good this was a good little little pod. We had a lot. We covered a lot. A lot. I think, Nate, I think we could we could rewatch to see if we need to edit out some edgy things. But like, yeah, yeah. There's a couple. <laughs> there's a couple things that happened. Uh, but well, well, but we we're retroactively. Oh, gonna apologize. Right. Yeah, just deepest, yeah, yeah. sincerest apologies. Let me Nick, give out my uh, apologies. Nick, do you do you have do you have a stream soon? Is that what you're doing? Uh, in one hour, yes, I do. One hour, uh, okay. We're watching some a little bit of reality TV with Jarvis. We're nice. Watching some, we're watching this. Sure. We're watching the show that I did a video on Flavor of Love, and then we're also we're doing a double header tonight. So we're first watching this show called like America's Most Smartest Models or something. And it's this like awful reality show where oh, they no. try to like pick all these dumb models and make them look like idiots. And like, it's just very uh, overall, not a great idea. Early 2000s television. Yeah. was fucking just... insane. And you Boy, just find, man. yeah, you find out more and more horrible things that have happened that have gone on TV and never been talked about every week. There was that like that Cody Co video. Yeah. About <laughs> hot or not. Where it's like, it's I, remember, I remember watching that show as a kid and then i was like that's not like watching it now it's like that's so fucked up yeah it's them crazy to do. i was I, when i watched your your recent video about the flavor of Flav dating show yeah like, what the why were like why were people so obsessed with like the member of public enemy that yeah kicked <laughs> out like that also wears clocks that the, the, he yeah, wears yeah clocks. it was a lot of clocks i don't know he yeah. had incredible drip and public yeah enemy, like you know very respected but like <laughs> why were people so into that they did like a house swap episode with flavor flav he did, like the uh i remember yeah, he, that so vividly my sister and i watched that when i was younger it was like mind expanding i was like who the fuck is this guy yeah and there were like three seasons of flavor of love too like he did it multiple times she never found anybody. love it's like if they just kept doing the bachelor i think the same guy and he yeah. was just like <laughs> i just Every can't figure it out just, uh, like after like, i don't know why they don't like me <laughs> i'm like groping them or yeah, yeah. Or like, what's wrong with me? after like unlikable? two Love seasons you'd think they'd be like yeah maybe this is just like maybe the problem's him yeah <laughs> you know? like you'd think that but they're like no let's run it by one like, more time let's bring him like ti or something <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> ti would literally fuck no wait that's nick cannon sorry <laughs> maybe like or who Q -tip. is it that Q -t Q -tip Q -tip would be a great choice Q -tip. Q -tip would yeah be yeah ti is the guy that checks his daughter's hymen to make sure she oh, yeah. doesn't have what sex a weirdo. yeah even though like that do not, that doesn't really prove that yeah. but and she's like no. 19 now or something or maybe 20 i don't know just a creep ti stands for too icky <laughs> Dude, Dude, he just got intimate, fucking man. Way he got too, fucking wrecked. On that. That's the next stand group. All the TI stands. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus.
Don't mess with him. Don't, don't mess with Aki. Don't He's mess with the to protect Aki. His, his daughter, I guess. What does TI stand for? I don't know. The illist. No, that's not true. <laughs> what does TI stand for? It's probably just like his real name. Oh, I just looked. It just auto it auto filled it to what does TI stand for in GPU, which is titanium. Maybe that's oh. what it still stands maybe, for. Maybe maybe it does. Maybe it means yeah. he's like his albums go titanic. <laughs> what? <laughs> um oh it was it used to be it used to be tip. Oh T I P. It used to be yeah, it used to be T I P and then he changed it because of Q tip. Oh. oh but why was it TIP? Well, let me tell you. I don't Bitty, know. Bitty bitty is penis. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> He's got a tiny little tip. <laughs> what? What? what his, his regular respect. dick is normal, but the tip is like so <laughs> tiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's awful. Like, there, there's nothing wrong with the size of like the whole model. It's like the individual parts were for different kits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they ran out at the end. They were like, "Fuck, this GB, one doesn't just GB put it on." This processor and then <laughs> thermal paste. Oh, this dick is really soft. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> um i figured it out it stands tip stood for 10 inch play <laughs> oh okay no way wait it is actually a penis a penis yeah, so it's the inch. opposite <laughs> yeah he's got a ma- he's got a long ass tip nine nine inches nine inches of his dick is tip <laughs> so horrendous so horrendous. like one of those cone heads that one movie. you remember that movie <laughs> <laughs> my man's got a conehead dick. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's like, awful. Yeah, it's like the mushrooms from uh from Plants vs Zombies. They eat the zombies, eat them, and they turn around and start walking. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my uh, gosh. Oh, uh, well, I think that's a great note yeah. to end on. Is <laughs> that was wonderful? <laughs> that was wonderful. Mm-hmm. Do you guys, both of you? Have anything you want to plug? Ro, do you have anything popping off? Um, I don't know. I'm working on music right now. You can just follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, Ro Ramden, you know. And I will say I fucking love Ro's. I love your tick or your Twitter. It's so funny. <laughs> it's so it so funny. chaotic. It's so <laughs> what, what was that? You did the uh like uh like, yeah. The white girl, the common white girl, common, yes, common, yeah, just like <laughs> common white girl, and my friend joined in. Like I didn't ask them to join in, but they did Dory with me. They were just like, stealing. oh, that's so funny. I was like, I I opened up Twitter and I looked at, it and I was like, when the fuck did I follow? Dude, common I felt like I was girl? having a stroke <laughs> yeah. for a second. I opened up my Twitter and it was just all of these tweets, and I was like, am I on a dip? Like I checked my account, and then I was like. <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, "Is this? Did I get hacked? Like, what's going on?" And then I saw the ad, and I was like, "It made me laugh totally... so fucking hard." <laughs> so glad, so glad you liked that bit because people were doing the um the ones with the gradient profile pictures that were. Like, oh yeah, I saw yeah. that meme. That was great. And, and I was like, I was like, we can go further back. We can go to the origin. Of, of they, yeah, that that is I'm like maybe classic. I think I think next I'll do an official Will Ferrell. Like, I was <laughs> just gonna tell you to do that. <laughs> That's I was so gonna good. say Phil the yeah. Phil Werrell. Oh yeah, my yeah. gosh. <laughs> So classic. And you got to do like the fat Amy one from Pitch Perfect. That was a big one that you, that I remember. I never, yeah. I never remember that one. Yeah, there were a lot yeah, of her. What a horrible movie. I can't <laughs> believe people like genuinely thought like Phil Werrell. They're like, no, dude, that's Will Ferrell. Yeah. Like, that's, yeah. That's Will Ferrell. <laughs> Could have gotten the real name. Like, <laughs> yeah. the it's just like a white boy, like white, white boy, white girl, like sad tweets. Like, <laughs> just yes. it's Will Ferrell behind the keyboard the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> that would be actually a great bit by Will Ferrell if that was yeah. his yeah. account. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, do you have anything you would like to plug? Uh, um... Shout out. Uh, follow I'm Denton, I M D E N T O N on Instagram. New music coming out soon. Woo! Um, I wonder who's producing. Yeah, I wonder who's the. Pro- I, I I have no idea, but I'm what? very excited. There might be a feature on one of the songs, and then mm-hmm. after that, we may have some. Unjo- you know, you know, you never know what's gonna happen. Yo, the pro- gonna happen. I bet the producer. I bet she's really good. Yeah. She, um. You guys think How that you Nick know? would let a woman produce? That's it. <laughs> You've maybe I'm giving maybe I'm giving Nick too much credit. Yeah. But yeah. I just... <laughs> Have you heard about me? Yeah. <laughs> You're a terrible person. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, and you can follow Nick as not green everywhere if you want. If you want. Also, green is not Nick. Also, green is not Nick. My second channel blowing up. Gone the, the agent, on the come up. 
Agent the- Orange. And if and if we did say anything <laughs> during this podcast that was like a little bit off kilter, rubbed you the wrong way, just you were kids, and uh, yeah, we were so young back then. Yeah, it was just, yeah. Like, just like thinking about it, like how like how are we gonna know better? We were just you know, yeah. we I was so na- entry level employees. We were naive. Yeah, was really all it was. Yeah, I we was didn't trying to work understand. my way up. So yeah, the company. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and for me, you can uh, go fuck yourself. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> I don't know. You can follow my Twitter, which is bad. You can follow my YouTube channel. Also, thanks, guys, for mentioning that. I appreciate that so much. Uh, Both of uh, you, thank you. For- <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no. Uh- Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I appreciate um, both of you watching my newest video. And- of course, yeah. yeah, it was great. I love. It. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I watch content on the internet. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but all right, friends. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Ro. Uh, I love you both. Uh, love you too. Bye, friends. I'm I'm gonna talk to them after we end the recording. Bye. So, bye, friends. Bye. We can all, we can bye. all wave. Let's let's all wave. Bye. Clicking the leave button and ending the call. That's-